Did you know that there's a simple exercise that you can use to improve your walking that almost no one knows about? In this video, I'm going to show you what the exercise is and why it is so useful for people like you. Hi everybody, my name is Will Harlow and I'm the over 50s specialist physio here at HT Physio in Farnham. And today I'm going to be revealing one great exercise that almost everyone can use to improve their walking. Now, before we dive into the content of the video, if you haven't already, please hit like on the video and subscribe to the channel because then you'll be the first to hear about our new videos when they come out. And we've got loads in store to help people improve their walking and their mobility. And if you're finding these videos useful, please consider sharing this channel with a friend or a family member because then it will help someone else and it will help the channel grow because all of our growth comes from people sharing it, so thank you so much for considering that. Now that that's been said, let's talk about problems that people have with walking, and I'll show you this exercise that can help. So one of the big problems that people have with walking is that they start to feel very fatigued when they walk, they get aches and pains in their lower limbs, which usually indicates that their walking is not efficient. We also find people come into the clinic saying that they're tripping or they're stumbling, they don't feel stable on their feet because you know something is not quite right in the lower limbs. Maybe they've got a weakness there or their balance is not great. But whatever it may be, there's a commonality with many of these people. And the other commonality they have is that many of them also have knee or ankle pains. And these pains are often not bad enough for these people to not walk. They just feel like a niggle but they're enough to bother the person. They're enough to say, oh, my knee's a bit sore today. And at the end of the walk, they have to give it a rub. And for many of these people that have all of these problems, there is an exercise that can help. And the exercise works off the premise that as we get older, we tend to move around less. And as we move around less, we tend to get weakness in certain muscles in the lower limbs. And lots of the exercise programs that you'll find online target the glutes and the quads and the calves, but there is a muscle group in the legs that is almost always forgotten about. And that is the muscle group called the ankle dorsiflexors. Now the ankle dorsiflexors are the muscles that live at the front of your shin. So I'll show you where those muscles are now. So this is my shin here, and the muscle we're talking about here lives at the front of the shin. So this here is called the tibialis anterior. If you press around at the front of your shin on the outside of the shin, you'll feel some soft tissue there, and that's the tibialis anterior. And its job is to pull the toes up, kind of like that. So its job is to bring your toes up when you walk. So it's a very, very important walking muscle because every time we take a step, in order for our foot to clear the ground, the tibialis has to pull your toes up so that you don't catch your toes on the floor. So as you can see, this muscle is responsible for people who uh, trip because if it's not working well, you're not pulling your toes up from the floor and your toes are catching. So if you have a weakness here, that's very common for tripping. The other thing that it causes if it's weak is fatigue all over the leg because other muscles are having to compensate to lift your hip up so that your foot is not catching the floor. So if your toes aren't pulling up, something else needs to bring your foot away from the floor and that usually becomes your hip. So if you have pain at the front of your hip when you walk, sometimes a weak tibialis can be uh, the reason why you have the problem. It can also cause instability, so if you don't feel very stable, sometimes the tibs are to blame as well, and tiredness all through the lower limbs when you walk. If you don't have a strong tibialis, your walking's not very efficient. So this exercise that almost no one knows about that can improve walking is a tib strengthening exercise. I'm gonna show you the exercise now. You can have a go at home as long as it's safe and appropriate for yourself to do so. And hopefully it will improve your walking. So let's have a look at the exercise now. So now I'm gonna show you this great exercise for strengthening the tibialis muscles at the front of the shin. So just to clarify the muscles we're trying to strengthen, are these ones here at the front of the shin. And they're responsible for this movement here, for bringing the toes up. So when we walk, you need them to lift your toes so that you don't catch your foot on the floor. So they do this movement here 
as we walk. So this exercise is super simple. Almost anyone can do it, but make sure you get checked out by your healthcare professional before you give it a go because it's not suitable for absolutely everyone. But if it's all clear for you to do so, all you need for this is a wall. And what you're going to do is you're going to lean against the wall with your bottom and your shoulders um, just supported by the wall. So I've probably got about 12 inches between my heels and the back of the wall. So I'm at a slight leaning. And I've got probably about 10, 20 degrees of knee bend there. So I'm sat just slightly down into it. And I could quite happily stand here for a long time as a result because my muscles are not working too hard. So once you've got yourself into that position, what you're gonna do is an exercise called the tib raise. And the tib raise involves these muscles down in the lower legs. And it's really simple. If you watch my ankles here, all you're going to do is lift your toes up off the floor and hold for a couple of seconds and then slowly let them back down. Okay, so that's one repetition of the tib raise. Go back up, that's repetition number two. And at this level, the exercise is quite easy. But this is where I'd have you start. And you're gonna work up to sets of probably about 15 in a row. You want to do probably more than 10 really to get a bit of a, a a workout there and what we're looking for here is to get some fatigue at the front of the shins now for many people that's going to be very easy so to make this harder you basically take another step away from the wall and the further away you are from the wall the more range of motion your ankles have to do which means the tips have to work a bit harder so here I can feel it working on my tibs more. You want to really concentrate on that contraction at the top. So there you want to squeeze with the, the tibs at the front of the shin. And if I want to make this even harder, I can do what we call a tib plank. So with this one, I'm taking my hips off the wall. So now it's just my shoulders and I'm raising with my body quite straight. So the movement's the same. It's my ankles that are lifting. But now my knee is straight and you can see I have to really concentrate to get that contraction at the top. This only works if you're really concentrating on that contraction there. OK, so if you just take it halfway and drop it down, it's not going to do much. It has to be that full range of motion. So start off with your feet 12 inches away. If you can do three sets of 20 with no problems, take your feet a bit further away and repeat there. You'll find it harder. And if that's nice and easy, then go into the tib plank and lift like that, because that makes it a touch harder. For most people, I recommend doing three sets of this exercise each day. You can space it out throughout the day, or you can do them all in a row with one uh, minute break between them. And that's going to build up strength in your tibs and improve your walking as a result. So that is the tib raise exercise. It's one of my favorite exercises for people who want to improve their walking. And I hope if you give it a go at home, you notice the improvements after several weeks and you stop tripping, you feel more stable and you, uh, you don't feel as much fatigue in your leg as a result. So that's all I've got for you today. I really appreciate you watching this video. If you've enjoyed it, please leave me a comment below. And if you want to get more from me, please feel free to pick up a copy of my book. It's called Thriving Beyond 50 and it's got loads more tips and strategies like this one and you can find it on Amazon using the link below. Anyway, that's all I've got for you today. Thank you very much for watching. And I look forward to speaking to you on the next video.